Okay, guys, welcome back. It is Punt Factor here. We are 0-2, uh, unfortunately, in this league. But, um, yeah, we dropped a game to Junt, and then we dropped a game to Burn. Both were actually relatively close. Uh, the Junt match just didn't go our way with us drawing, and their, their hand matched up really well to what we were trying to do. The Burn was just a coin toss. So it was good, good stuff. <clears throat> Happy Easter, by the way, everybody. And, uh, all right. I don't actually mind this hand, um, cause it, now it's not fast, but we do have our collected company. We have a voice. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it because we are on the play. Um, if, if it wasn't for this voice, we would absolutely ship it. I do kind of wish our Ramanap Excavator was a little bit, uh, a little bit more powerful of a three drop, but it is not. I'm gonna lead on foothills here. I'll go ahead and get a Temple Garden tapped. <clears throat> okay, that's unfortunate. Maybe they'll take the excavator. They should take the voice, but we'll see. All right. Whatever you want to do, opponent. The amount of Luris decks <laughs> that that are uh, that are being played right now is is insane. It's absolutely insane. Path to Exile is pretty rad. So let's go ahead. We'll have white, white. We'll have all of our colors. I'm going to go ahead and just get a forest here and play out our voice. Let's see if they have a thought sees. So I'm going to assume this is just Jund, um, which in that case we're we're doing okay. I mean the the voice of resurgence is a great play against them on two. Even if you don't ramp it out. Okay, they bolt it. Are they going to push the token? What do we draw here? Let's play out the canopy. Let's go ahead and play out Noble. Let's swing for three. And then we will hold up Path to Exile. If they play Lily, we'll go ahead and sack the Noble. So I don't see any green so far. Did they just bring... They just brought Loris into their hand. Do I want to draw... No, I don't think I do. I was going to say, do I want to crack Canopy and draw a card? That's actually a phenomenal draw. <clears throat> I actually should have companied first. Or, I mean, I'm in a company right now. To grow this. Let's go ahead with Courser. Do we want Excavator? Or do we want another Noble? So, Noble puts on a lot of pressure. I mean, the excavator just guarantees us land drops, which might not be bad. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the uh, let's get the excavator out. Perfect. There's a tracker. That worked out well. It's going to allow us to really start churning through those land drops. When they play Luris out, we'll be able to be able to path. They will get um, 
the chance to bring back a bobble. But we are applying some serious pressure, and we have a backup path that they do not know about. We also have a voice of resurgence. <clears throat> I feel like this game's pretty much over. We're going to be gaining life every turn now with uh, with Corsair. Let's see what they have. They might have um, Croxa. There's Lurus. Gonna go ahead and get rid of you. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We have Lethal on board, unless they have a bolt. Okay. All right, so a Lurus deck, huh? What sucks here? We don't really need the Excavators. Uh, let's bring in the Crusaders. Well, they showed us Bolt. I mean, how good is it really? Crusaders probably okay. Um, I wouldn't mind bringing in a Finx. I do like keeping all of our all of our one drops. I mean, the Kitchen Finks is great. I don't even know what they're playing though. Like, do they have lilies? I don't really think we need engineer explosives. We don't need damping spheres. We do not need eidolons. We don't need mind sensors. So it really comes down to Kitchen Finks. So is there anything in here that's worse than a Kitchen Finks? I mean, Tireless Tracker's great. Skews is fantastic. Voice of Resurgence is MVP. I still like having the, the, the plan to, to uh, have a fast start with our one drops. And also, if they use removal on our one drops, um, awesome. Like, whatever. And then the one drops also late game feed the voice tokens, which I'm great. Like, that's fine. Um, also feed Skews. I guess, do we want uh, to take out one tireless tracker for Kitchen Finks? I don't think so. So I think we just, just do that. Ramanaps for Crusaders. Looks like a pretty solid hand to me. This will do. Um... Sure. The only way we get screwed here is if we do not draw another land and they take our noble. So I don't care what three drop they take. Um, if they don't take the Crusader. Okay, so they did take our, our one drop. Just another fantastic reason to... That was a great pickup. Another great reason to, to keep the one drops in. Like... I just don't know why you would take them out. You know, that Inquisition, they could have very easily taken something way more relevant. I mean, if we rip into another land, um, we're good to go. Now what are they going to take here? They should probably take the voice because um, it's our only play. And maybe, yeah, just say maybe they hope we get stuck on two lands. I hope we don't. I don't want another non-game. That's not what I like to see. So we really need to hit a land. Whenever an opponent discards a card, that player loses two life. You got it. Land. Well, better than nothing, I guess. We can Skyclave that 
enchantment, which is good. Hopefully they don't have a push here. Give me a land, baby. There we go. So... We're definitely going to play out, I believe, Courser. Um, I mean, or we could just go ahead and Skyclave this thing. Why don't we do that? It'll probably make... It'll make them think about which one they want to actually take or kill. Um, yeah, we might as well just play the Skyclave. Get rid of that. We have time. Let's just keep their board clear. I'm kind of enticing them to... Use a bolt on my scavenging news. Maybe I should be putting more weight into my skews, but I would rather them bolt the skews than the Mirren Crusader. Um, ideally, I rip a land. I can play out a Courser... Okay, so there's there's that, which is fine. And now maybe I can... If we rip a land, I'll eat their bobble. Perfect. So let's play out a Courser. There's a path. That path would actually be really nice to draw. I guess I don't really have to crack this yet. Yeah, let's just go ahead and pass turn. You know what, though? No, that's fine. That is fine. Because they didn't even bring Luris to their hand. So they're they're pretty far off of actually getting any sort of utility from him. Uh, I have time to eat that bauble, and I feel like I need to keep pressure, keep their board clear, keep pushing forward. I mean, the path to exile is nice, but I also have the backup skyclave if I need it. So I think we're okay. Could see them having a Karaxa. Which will get rid of the Corsair if that's the case. And then next turn would just be. Um, probably Crusader. Huh. Interesting. Well. We got rid of here. You got rid of Skyclave. Okay. Got Skyclave back. Got Marin Crusader out of the yard. Or out of the hand. Which is fine. What do they even have going on over here? Well, it looks like we're going to What are we doing here? I mean, we could play this, crack it, get a Mirren Crusader on the board. But I think I'd rather just do this. Do this. Gain a couple life, eat some stuff here. Um, let's get this thing out of bolt range. Yeah, let's do that.
Well, and we have lethal on board, so let's see what our opponent can do. What is this? Grave intense. I'm not sure what they're really trying to do. I'm assuming they're trying to lay down some rack like effects or whatever. Push? That's not very nice. It's not very nice at all. Do we want to eat their one bobble? I think we do. I figures their last card would be push. Well, we have a Skyclave for uh, their Luris when it comes down, so they're going to get one activation off of it. Or one bobble activation from it. So I could crack this and grab a big freaking knight. Which I think I might do. Drawing path, the Luris. We have the Skyclave anyway. We have a 7 7 Knight. All kinds of good stuff going on in our favor. Burning Inquiry, don't care. Aw, oh, man. I guess I care a little bit. That's fine. Where is? Bobble. All right, so what are we doing here? Draw the bird. Play Crusader. I really want to... I, I really do want to like swing in with the knight, but I also want to bog them so they don't get any. Yeah, let's let's swing in with the knight. Well, they're going to have to block. Never mind. They're going to have to block Luris regardless. So. Then we might as well play the bird out. I'll hold this land for tracker. Did I see like a Bontu's Last Reckoning? Whenever an opponent discards a card, create a 2 2 black zombie token. I just noticed this. That's terrifying. Let's hope that's not the case. Kroxa. Get rid of our courser here. Create a 2 2 black zombie creature token. Yup. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Um, cool. We got one, dudes. Um, what was that even? I don't know. I don't know. Rakdos mid range, maybe? Uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for League Match 3.